Good morning, day 147. As you can see, the sun is shining. We're supposed to have a beautiful week. It's going to be in the mid to upper 70s. Perfect weather for gardening. So you guys know what I'll be doing all week. I'll be working in my garden. I'm so excited about that. Even though I know I'm going to be pretty sore at the end of the day, it's a good sore. So anyway, um, I still plan on doing my walk today because it's such beautiful weather for walking. So that's on the list. I still have some laundry to do and I should be finishing that up within the next day or so because I let it go too long. As you can see, all this beautiful sunshine is shining on my coffee. So, walking and laundry will be my inside project today. Maybe cleaning up a few things that need a home. I'm not sure, but my priority is definitely going to be my garden. So I have lots of flowers to plant. I got my herbs planted. I still have to plant my my mints. Those are going around the deck. And still lots and lots of work to do out there. But I'm breaking it down into small sections that I can handle. And another thing that I'm doing this year is trying to set up my garden to make it less work for me in the spring to set it up. So sometimes you have to work a little harder to get things to become easier. It's that way with purging, it's that way with gardening, it's that way with house cleaning. You have to figure out a new system that works for you if the old one isn't working anymore. So I'm going to enjoy my coffee make out my list on my bloom page and see where the day takes me. All right, I'll be back in a little while. And again, I'm having leftovers today. Um, I want to see if I can make really simple meals this week so there won't be anything complicated because I have other things to focus on. All right. I'll be back in a little bit. All right, time for a morning walk <clears throat> before breakfast. Oh, what a beautiful day. Absolutely gorgeous. So these are the flowers I have to plant today. These are blueberry bushes. They're staying in the pot. <clears throat> Seedless blackberry that's staying in the pot. And I have to plant my flowers. So that's on the list for today. And my azaleas are looking beautiful. All right. Today I'm going to walk two and a half blocks plus. So we'll see how far I get. All right. I'll see you when walk I get just back. Just a little bit further. And in our little community here, we have a little free library. And this is really cute. It's all painted and you can get a free book. So it's a really nice thing. And we have all kinds of books in here. You can take a book, leave a book. So that's a nice feature. And then over here, after you get your book, we have this beautiful lake. And we get water birds there. And after you get your book, you can sit on the bench. And you can do a little reading and relaxing. So it's one of the perks of the neighborhood where I live. Right, I'm going to look at the books. So I decided to sit a while because it's so pleasant. I love the fountain. There's no birds here today. A lot of times there's 
Oh, there's a couple Canada geese. There they go. So anyway, I did pick out a couple books. And since I'm trying to become um, a little more spiritual, they happen to have quite a few of those. So I picked out three books. This one is called My Heart, Christ's Home Through the Year. So every day you have a devotional. That looked interesting to me. Then here's one. It's called Going Home. Jesus and Buddha as brothers. And we all need to be brothers and sisters. So I thought that looked interesting. And then there was this one. Jesus and Lao Tzu. The parallel sayings. So with this book, one page will have the sayings of Jesus and the other side will have the sayings of Lao Tzu. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But anyway, I'd like to learn a little bit more about things Zen and other religions and some of the things that were taught. So I'm not a Bible reader. I find it a little bit difficult to get through it. But I do like to explore spiritual things and the wisdom that, and teachings that were taught of Christ. So, like I said, I'm not one for organized religion. It doesn't matter to me what church you go into to worship or where you're sitting when you're worshiping. Like, I can sit here on this bench and read one of these books and that would be just fine for me. All right, I'm going to be heading home shortly and I'm going to look and see what's for breakfast. And that's one thing I'm thankful for. All the food that I have in my refrigerator, freezer, and pantry. It's a delightful walk. And now I'm on the way back home. That's my house in front of you. Looking good. So, and I am hungry. So I will be having some breakfast and grab a cup of coffee or tea because today is Tea Tuesday. All right, I'll be back. I'll see you at the refrigerator. All right, breakfast time, day 147. So I took out these two frittata bites yesterday. I'm going to have those. And <clears throat> I'm also going to have some bread. Yep, still working on the bread I bought, what, maybe three weeks ago? So $1.10, that's a great price. And then I'm going to have, I need to eat these oranges. I'm going to have a blood orange, and if I'm still hungry, I'm going to have an apple. And this is all produce I bought on Markdown. So that is what's for breakfast today. And of course, coffee and I'll have tea later. All right, I will meet you at the stove. All right, here's my breakfast day 147. Blood orange, frittatas, mini frittatas, toast with some of my seitan, and a little bit of Dijonese. This stuff, I love this stuff. It's by Hellman's. I've been using it for years. So anyway, I'm going to eat my breakfast because I'm really hungry. 
and I'll come back and we'll have a little Tea Tuesday I'm chat. Plant some flowers in here. Now all these are wandering Jennies. They come back every year, and uh, normally I would add a lot of amendments to the soil, but. Honestly, I don't have time for that this year, so I'm just going to put some fertilizer in there. And as I plant, and I have um, these really pretty petunias, and I also have. these geraniums. So those are going in this box. Now over there I have a window box that I'll be planting some other things in. So my color theme this year is sort of pinks and purples and, and hopefully that'll be nice. Alright, so I'm just going to rough up the soil a little bit. I dug up a lot of this wandering Jenny from my backyard that replanted itself where I didn't want it. So I'll plant a little bit more of that over here. some of this. I'm sure you don't want to hear that. I know I don't. All right. I'm going to get this planted and then I'll be back when it's all done. All right. Well, I'm getting ready to plant my window box now and I'm keeping it very simple this year. I'm not planting any fancy flowers, um, you know, the exotic flowers, at least not up here. Uh, I'm just keeping it to uh, impatience. These are the sun patients because this does get quite a bit of sun and geraniums. And I'm just putting plant food in there. It, it's a nice loose soil. I'm not adding more soil or anything. So I'm just going to plant this up now. And then I'm going to add some more of the Wandering Jenny because I have so much of it and it's free because it just is growing like crazy in my backyard. So I'm just going, I'm going to plant these and they're pink and I'm going to plant, uh, I'm not sure yet if I'm planting these or I have these darker ones. These are so pretty. They have an orange center. So, just for color variation, I think I'll plant these. Or one of, one of these, and I don't know yet. Anyway, I'll figure it out. that I do is I just lay my flowers out the way I want them and I find that's the easiest way to do it 
and be very careful, of course, when you take them out of their pots, because they're going to go into shock for a while. So hopefully I bought enough flowers that I don't need to buy many more. I do want to get some um, marigolds, I think, but I'm going to plant these first before I buy anything else. Okay, I will be back once I get these planted and I'll show you how it turned out. Okay, well, <laughs> it's hard to see the screen. The window box is all planted. I planted the Wandering Jenny in the front, the um, geraniums and the sun patients in the back. And the Wandering uh, Jenny will fill in and just hang over the window box. And hopefully a lot of that will come back next year and I'll just have to put the flowers in. This year must be a great year for vines because those sticky vines are like all over the place. They're going crazy. And my wandering Jenny is all over the place too. So, all right, I still have a couple planters here in the front uh, porch that I want to put some uh, geraniums and petunias in and also some wandering Jenny. So, um, I'll be back. All right, well, the window boxes are planted. Now I have to plant some flowers in these pots. And that's going to be it for that part of the house. I still have uh, over there, I want to plant some tomatoes and some uh, cucumbers. They did really well there last year, so I want to do that again. But that'll probably be a project for a different day. So if I get this done and I want to plant my mints in the back. And that'll probably it, be it for the gardening today. So, this is what it looks like before. I need to trim the bushes. They're looking a little wanky. And I'll show you what it looks like after I get the flowers in. Okay, I got these two planted, but I can't trim them anymore. I'm to the point of no return. I need to go have a cold drink, stretch out my back, and then come back out here in a little while and water these flowers that I just planted. I still want to do a little something with these two hanging, whoa, hanging baskets. Uh, but I just, I can't do any more right now. All right, I'll be back in a little bit. Right. So happy Tea Tuesday. Now, as you can see, nothing that I did out in the yard was really hard work. It wasn't like I was digging trenches or anything like that. But I'm glad I got done what I got done. But this is what happens when I, I just can't go any further. When I'm done, I'm done. So now I have to rest a little bit, have something cold to drink. And I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that, too. Uh, but you do what you can. So I'm breaking everything down into zones. Uh, yesterday I did the herbs. Today I'm doing the front flowers. I still have to water. There's still two baskets that I need to some of that wandering Jenny in and um, 
mostly, uh, I don't know if I'll get to that today or not because I'm getting pretty sore. But I did get my walk in, so I'm very happy about that. And that's why I have to do it first because there's no way that I could go now and walk. So I'm going to rest a little bit, put my feet up. I'm just waiting for my dogs to come in from outside and having a cold drink. Now this isn't coffee or tea. It's one of those water enhancers. I wish I liked water, but I don't like water. And I know I need to drink more. One of my viewers said, and I, I've kind of noticed this too, if you get dehydrated, your symptoms get worse, which makes sense. Another thing that it affects when I don't drink enough is my eyesight, because I have dry eye, and my eyes get very, very dry if I don't drink enough. So, um, anyway, that's all I have for now. So I'll be back a little later after I rest a little while. All right, it's time for dinner, day 147. I had a little rest after my gardening adventure. So I'm feeling better, more energized. So I still have this quarter of a pepper. I'm going to have that. Uh, this tomato needs to be eaten. Or it's going to be garbage. So I'm going to have that. And I have a couple of things from Mother's Day left over. These were fajitas from Chili's, but I'm not going to have that. And then this is ravioli from Olive Garden. So I think I'm going to have that along with the pepper. And if that's not enough, then I'm going to have an apple. And maybe some cheese. I still have some cheese. And crackers. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm not cooking this evening. I have things to eat. And I even still have a little iced coffee that my daughter brought me. I didn't drink the whole thing. So I think I'll have a little of that. And I think that will be it. I don't feel like having a salad. So I still have some produce down there. But I'm not in the mood for that. All right, I will meet you at the stove. All right, I cut up and cooked this tomato in the microwave for uh, two minutes. Now I'm going to add my pepper, and it's stuffed with uh, rice and vegan um, meat. So, but I'm going to cut this up in little pieces. Because I'm going to eat it with this cheese ravioli from Olive Garden. So I just want to eat up my leftovers. I don't want to throw anything away. Because you can't save money throwing stuff in the garbage. So that's what I'm having for dinner tonight. And I feel much better after my little my little rest. I feel like I can even do a few more things. I still have some laundry to fold up and some dishes to put away. So after I eat dinner I'll do those two things and then call it quits. I'm not going to do any more in the garden today. I feel like I accomplished what I set out to do. So that makes me happy. And tomorrow I'll finish up the two areas that I started. The patio herb garden. The patio still needs to be cleaned up. 
and also I have a couple of uh, hanging baskets that I want to change up a little bit. So I'm going to do that hopefully tomorrow because it's supposed to be nice all week. So I'm going to put this cheese ravioli on here and heat it up. And this is plenty of dinner for me. And I used some things out of the refrigerator and the pepper was in the freezer. So I'll be back in a few minutes. Boy, this hairdo is a hot mess, but it keeps the hair out of my face, especially when the wind blows. So anyway, I'm going to get in the shower and... Um, I won't look so terrible <laughs> but anyway you know you're at home you're relaxed I've got a, an old shirt on old pants I can't get dressed during the day in the morning in nice clothes and then start working I have to get my ugliest clothes if I want to start working I have to get my ugly clothes so that's what I do but uh, yeah I'm I'm pretty happy with uh, progress I'm making on my goals. Um, this evening I might read a little bit and um, I, I've had this fitness tracker thing. It, it was just a cheap one from Aldi's and I haven't used it but I'm going to see if I can get it to work with my phone. So I set it up so that it reminds me to drink. It'll buzz when it's time to take a drink because I don't drink enough. All right, let's see how my dinner turned out. And I'm very happy that I have these leftovers. Oh, that looks pretty good. I think it looks great. It looks very Italian. So there we have it. Dinner day 157. Take a picture and I'm going to enjoy this. All right, I'll be back in a minute after I finish well, my I'm back to wrap things up. Happy Tea Tuesday with my Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Cheers. You know, McDonald's has iced coffee too, and I know last year, I only drank iced coffee pretty much in the summer, spring and summer, not in the winter. But McDonald's iced coffee is pretty good, too, and it's way cheaper. So, but my daughter bought me that, and that was very happy. I was very happy to get that. We sat and drank our iced coffee and had some conversation. So, I'm still cooking down the freezer, pantry, and refrigerator. I don't even really remember the last time I went shopping. It's been at least three weeks. If you know, let me know in the comments below because I did post a video of uh, what I got. And that was uh, twice within like a two week period before that, I got those uh, markdown veggie boxes and I'm still cooking those down. Even after I gave my mom uh, a good portion of it. <clears throat> so I'm not going to stop doing that until I can have a reasonable amount of food in my freezer. And as you all know, the new people here might not know, I still have another freezer at my mom's that um, she was so kind to let me put my food in there after my 40 some year old uh, freezer finally gave up the ghost. So I'm going to continue to cook down my freezer food. So this is a perfect week with my gardening going on. Uh, it's a perfect week for me to eat a few leftovers that I stuck in the freezer. So um, I don't always cook everything fresh. Uh, I like to uh, most of the time, but once I get uh, leftovers in the freezer, then I like to eat those down because they don't last that long. 
So anyway, um, I'm finished with my garden for the day. Tomorrow is another day. And I'll see what I'm going to do. And he, these are some of my starts. Now these I started from seed. This is pak choy and uh, broccoli and some cabbage. And they need to get in the ground. And then I also have... Oh, let's see if I can reach it. Uh, these are kohlrabi, and they're white and white and purple kohlrabi. That needs to go in the ground too. So maybe I'll get those planted tomorrow. Um, it's a matter of hooking up the water. Uh, you have to prepare the soil. If there's a lot of weeds in your uh, buckets or grow bags, you have to get those out. Um, sometimes I add new soil to it, but like I said, I'm not going to do that this year. I already added some because the soil does compact and go down. So, But I'm just adding it to sort of fill up the pots more because these little guys don't aren't going to add much soil to my pots. So anyway, and then I have all my tomatoes. They're out in the little greenhouse. I still have my mints. I did not get to the mints today. Uh, project for another day. All right, my friends, that's all I have for you today. I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself, be good to others. God bless you, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching.